everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Venture Lighting 400 watt Probe Start Natural White or 5000K, whatever you want to call it, metal halide bulb. And this particular bulb was bought off eBay for $15. So that was really nice and cheap, if you ask me. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and we might as well look at the etch real quick. Also known as the information about this 5000K metal halide lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and point it into some, some type of light source so we can get a good view of it. Get the camera to focus first. There we go. Now we can clearly see the etch. So, as you can see, the bowl coat is actually on the top this time. So, anyways, the MH400 watt, obviously. This is just a standard metal halide bulb because it just says MH. If it says MS, it's a super metal halide bulb, meaning that it puts out more light. So this is just a standard metal halide lamp since it just says MH. So we have an MH 400 watt, obviously. Wattage right there, slash U, meaning universal burn position. I'll also be putting the burning position in the description below of this video, so you'll see that as well. And this is what surprised me. You can see the 5K right there, meaning 5,000K or daylight. So that's the 5K meaning. That's basically the color temperature. The color temperature is actually 5,000K or daylight, which is really cool. So under it is the phone number of the company, as you can see. And right here is obviously the company name, Venture Lighting, obviously. And uh, here's the warning symbol of mercury as usual. Because, you know, high intensity lamps contain mercury in the arc tube. And here's the letter R, meaning that this bulb will not self extinguish if this outer layer bulb breaks. And it'll continue to operate and it'll put out a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which would not be good. And right here is the ballast type, or the ANSI code, I should say. Um, it's the M59 lamp. And, um, and it's rated for enclosed fixtures since there's no shield around the lamp. So, that's the ballast type right there. So, there really isn't much on the etch since this is just a simple, almost simple, standard metal halide bulb except for the 5000K um, labeling on the etch. But anyways, um, now we're now that we're done with the etch, um, we might as well look at the construction real quick of this lamp to see how it's made. So you can see the stem right there, right there as well. You can see the base is glued on. I don't see any like bulb glue that glued onto the base. Maybe they just torqued the base very hard onto the bulb without it breaking. So. You can see the wires right here, the stem wires pointing out, and of course, the rest of these wires going to the arc tube. Here's the probe start resistor as well. So you can see the probe circuit right here. I'm not sure what that thing is on the far end of the arc tube on the bottom. And here's the arc tube itself. As you can see, it has different types of metal salts in the arc tube, or halide salts, I should say. So this is what a 5000K metal halide arc tube looks like. So anyways, as you can see, some of the halide salts give off like a scarlet color when in, when in a solid state. So that's pretty cool. I love it how 5000K metal halide bulbs have different halide salts that make it 5000K or daylight, basically. So you can see some of the halide salts in the arc tube are actually scarlet red. So that's pretty cool. And um, most of them are like orangey yellow. So anyway, if anybody knows what the halide salt chemicals are of a 5000K metal halide bulb, let me know in the comments below because I don't know what they are. I only know um, sodium iodide and sodium bromide for um, 4000 and 3000K metal halide lamps. So, pretty cool. And as you can see, there's two coatings of ceramic on the arc tube, meaning universal burn position. Here's the top electrode of the arc tube as well. You can see two metal straps supporting the arc tube, which is kind of nice. You can see this other wire going to the top electrode of the arc tube. 
Of course, we have the dimple as well. Here's the little tip on the R2 right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the construction. So um, I'm going to give you some specific specifications about this 5000K metal halide bulb, and then I'll be turning it on for you viewers. But anyways, this particular 5000K metal halide bulb here produces 32,500 lumens, which is actually, it's still very bright anyway. It's nearly equivalent to my Sylvania 400 watt probe start metal halide bulb that I made over eight months ago. So anyways, sorry if the camera's out of focus, but um, anyways, the color temperature is obviously 5000K or daylight according to the etch on the bulb. So you can see it right there. So, anyway, the lifetime on this bulb is only 15,000 hours if burned vertically, but 11,250 hours if burned horizontally. So, you get more lifetime if you burn it base down or up, basically vertical, if I'm allowed to say that. But, um, oh, and I also forgot to mention that we have a very nice hard aluminum base with a rough ceramic insulator, not polished. If it was polished, it would be nice and smooth. But, um, sorry if I, I forgot to mention that. But, um, anyway, the, um, I believe that's that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give this bowl a shot and we'll see how it starts up. Hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube whatsoever. And, um, I don't think it's going to be actually just pure 5000K. The color rendering index on this bulb is 75, which is not that great. However... I made a bulb video about over a month ago of this Venture 250 watt Pulse Start Natural White Shielded Metal Halide Lamp, and it really is pure 5000K because the color rendering is 90 plus and the color temperature is 5000K or daylight. So I might actually make like a light bulb comparison video between five between the two 5000K metal halide lamps that I have. So I'll see what I can do. So anyway. Enough of me rambling. We're gonna go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. So, um, and um, hopefully there will be no issues with the R2 whatsoever, like I just said. So, and what's actually funny is that the ballast is actually made by Venture Lighting and it's operating a Venture 400 watt lamp. It's very funny, I just can't believe this. So let's screw it in into our fixture here. Make sure every connection is nice and sturdy. Make sure no shortage shortages occur. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and before you test any type of high intensity lamp, always wear safety goggles to protect your eyes because the intense light from the arc tube can blind you pretty badly. So always wear welding goggles or any type of safety goggles to protect your eyes from the intense light from the lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. All right, now we'll shut off this light in the room here so we can get a better view of the lamp turning on. Make sure everything's plugged in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera on the ballast here. And this bulb might turn on instantly because it, it probably has been slightly used, but anyway, enough of me talking. Let's turn on this 5000K metal halide lamp. Here we go.
anyway, the lamp is at full brightness and yep, it is pure daylight in here. So as you can see, the bulb lights up this room quite nicely in very nice pure 5000K daylight white. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice Venture lighting, 400 watt probe start, 5000K or natural white metal halo bulb, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.